What's going on guys, I'm the new punter for the win and uh, this is the second part to my how to get a custom filter on snapchat video so as you guys can recall um, I told you guys to get the two battery filters and find a way to get them over to your computer and uh, from here we're gonna continue and we're gonna edit um, the filters and we're gonna make a, a new filter but uh, I wouldn't re really recommend you guys edit these I would actually recommend you guys do an entirely new filter and um, well for today's video I am going to be using Photoshop um, and I know that not everybody has Photoshop but it is extremely easy to get it um, without paying for it so you can just YouTube it um, and you'll find a way uh, or also there is another way to do this uh, it does require you to download GIMP which is the pretty much the Photoshop alternative so and this does work on Mac and Windows so let me go ahead and show you guys how you could get that go ahead and Google and then type in GIMP 2 and then click on downloads and then if you know you're on Windows then just go ahead and click here or if you're on Mac click here and then uh, here but uh, yeah that's that that's how you can get it the setup is real easy just language and installation and what you would do uh, on GIMP, it is a little bit different than on Photoshop. But uh, what you would do is click on File, New, and do the width here. So we're going to do a width of 1080 and then a height of 1920. And then click on Advanced Options here. And then right here where it says Fill Width, instead of being background color, type in or select Transparency. And this is what we want because we want our filter to be transparent so it's not going to be like for example white to where you can't see yourself or whatever you take a picture of so yeah just transparency click OK and then this is your workspace so you can pretty much draw you can put text you can put images you can put whatever on this and I'm just gonna quickly just I don't know put something here so just gonna put snapchat And it is extremely hard to do this uh, Snapchat. And I mean, you can put whatever you want. This is just for the sake of this tutorial here. So, next, let's say you're done editing, you're done doing whatever you want to do. Um, so, what you do next here is go into File and do not do Save As. Actually, in GIMP, you do Export As and then as you can see here it's already uh, the extension is already a dot png so you don't need to change that so just actually just rename this to whatever you want I'm just gonna put filter and I'm gonna save it to my desktop so I can find it easily and then click on export then click on export again and then it should do its thing and then just close it discard changes and then close it again and here's the filter that you just created so uh, from here you would get it over to your device um, so uh, w a good way to do that would be to install a program called iFunBox and this is both for Windows or for Mac so download either one and uh, yes yeah, so you would just get it over to your device from there um, let me go ahead and just continue this over on Mac so I can show you guys the Photoshop version or the Photoshop way to do this and Photoshop on Windows and Mac is the same so go up here to file click on new make a width of 1080 and a height of 1920 and then background here go ahead and click on transparent and then click OK and then here's your workspace here so let me just go ahead and do another filter and just real quick here uh, and I'm just gonna put that there and then let's say I want to put an image in there so I do have one here and make sure that the image you put in is a transparent so as you can see here there's no white background or anything so it works good um, so just resize this put it down here and let's say that I'm happy with that so click on file save as 
rename it to whatever you want uh, it really doesn't matter because you're going to rename it again in a bit and then format format it as a png and then I'm going to save it to my desktop so I'll just save it and then you're going to want to do this twice and also I forgot to say but yeah do it twice for the GIMP one as well so I'm just going to rename this again format png desktop save and that's pretty much it you don't need photoshop anymore so let me close out of this and here's my two filters so as you guys can see they are full screen filters so um, well now what you would do is you would take the the battery filters and this is why they they are useful is you're gonna take the name of them and as you guys can see here I already kinda changed the name and I put original just so I know that these are the original but you want to copy this name here so just copy it and then paste it onto this one onto the one that you just created so paste and notice they should be named exactly like this and then do the same for the at 3x one here so just oops not that part just here so copy and then just paste it and then these you don't need them anymore you can just delete them but what I do is I just keep them for the name so I just make a, f a folder for them and then just keep them so I can get the name and then just in case I make another filter just rename them easily from here and uh, so yeah that's that's it now you get your images and remember when I told you guys to get iPhone box this is where it comes in handy so you can just transfer images or files whatever you you want over to your device so that's what I'm about to do here I just connected my iPhone I'm gonna go to raw uh, to raw file system downloads and you can put this anywhere and as you guys can see here I already have some so pretty much the same thing uh, so well let me go ahead and show you guys here I'm gonna just delete these so delete and then just copy the new ones and that's it and then just follow my video and that's uh, that'll show you what to do from here